Hey, this is Michael Kodahi. I'm going to teach you about accelerators in three minutes. So the accelerator that we're going to build looks something like this. You'll be able to select a text from any page, uh, pop up in the accelerators menu, and hover over our search accelerator, and you're going to get a list of items uh, which have that keyword that we hovered over in them. So to start with, what we need is a is a page on our site that renders in 320 by 240. I happen to have one here. Uh, it's it's a simple page that has a parameter passed down to it. A uh, parameter by the name of param in this particular instance, and a word that's passed out to it. So, I don't know. I could pass anything down, and and I get back a page that renders in a 320 by 240 uh, sized window. Um, so, how do I get from uh, from the page that we built that renders in the 320 by 240 to the uh, to to the accelerator? Well. Somewhere in the middle of all that magic is a manifest file. So this is a file that you put on your web server somewhere, um, and it describes your accelerator. So it tells IE what your accelerator does and how it behaves. So we've got you know the name of our accelerator, the icon of our accelerator, um, and a couple of other things. Uh, the one of the more important things is is uh, the category of our accelerator. So this particular accelerator is a search accelerator. Uh, when you right mouse click and you pop up your accelerators window, they're actually grouped accelerators. So there's mapping accelerators, definition accelerators. And so you have to specify a category. Um, and now we've got two actions. Uh, we've, got a, we've got a preview action and an execute action. The preview action is just that, that, that page that you saw earlier where we're passing down the selection. So when you hover over it, you'll actually see that. Um, other action is, is an execute action. And what this is, is, is what if the user clicks on your accelerator? So if they're here and they click, they, they hover over and they put your accelerator up, but what if they actually click on this, uh, on your accelerator there, right? So let's click on it. Uh, what we do in my particular instance is we actually launch our proper fully fledged search page with all our search results in it. So that's that search page there, right? So you can actually have an action when the user clicks and an action when the user hovers. Um, that's pretty much the manifest file. That's pretty much the glue that 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 that, that holds it all together and describes what your accelerator should look like. So how do we get this manifest file? How do we get from this to uh, to the user's browser? So to to add an accelerator to any page, what we're going to do is actually add a button to the bot to the bottom here uh, that 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 installs the accelerator. So let's go over. Um, and here's a button and it calls a method called add service and it passes to that method the XML file right so we've got so let's hit save let's move over let's refresh that so now we've got our page the user is going to see a um, a button that says add accelerator or any user uh, generated or um, action We'll hit replace in my particular instance, but it'll hit add if it was the first time. And now, when the user hovers over, they'll see our accelerator, and it'll 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 and it'll show the results. So, a manifest file that describes your accelerator, one method call in your browser window that that tells uh, the IE where the accelerator lives, where the accelerator manifest lives, and we're done. Accelerators in three minutes.